Hey JFAM, today I am out in beautiful nature, my favorite place to be, because I am doing my reading your assumptions about me. So I asked you guys a few weeks ago to write all the assumptions you have about me. You guys sent in some pretty juicy ones. Some of them were true and some of them weren't. Just a girl in her van in a video cam. It's Marley. Marley and me. I assume you've dated a girl before. You like Justin, but maybe there was once another girl on your mind. You liked a girl, but never admitted to it because you were scared. You've had an experience with a girl. All right, actually never had an experience with a girl. There was a time in my life where I thought I was bisexual and it kind of scared me because I came from a background where that was really not acceptable. I was like, crap, what am I supposed to do? Like it's wrong for me to be gay or bi or pretty much anything but straight. So I really wrestled with it. And then I was like, you know what, Jesse, you're really lucky because you're bi and you can just choose to like a boy. And if you were gay, you would have to pretend to like boys. Years later, I know myself a lot better. I know that I'm straight. I think girls are pretty, but I'm not really attracted to them in any way other than that. You were really close to your sister. Yes, Hannah, get over here. I'm really close to my sister. Ew! Except when she does that. I assume that you are super honest. Yes, sometimes brutally honest. It's like. Why are we doing fireworks in a meditation garden? Every kind of me? pop is a gunshot. This is the world we live in. Oh my god. I thought I was getting shot at. It was not a great experience. Apparently there is a gun range next to a meditation garden. I almost just fell in. Marley is like a child to you. 100%. I talk about my van all the time and I'll be like, yeah, Marley and I are gonna go to Canada. Marley and I are gonna go to California. People are like, who's Marley? I thought you were dating Justin. Oh, it's my van, it's my child, it's my baby. You don't like people to know that you date an older guy. I wouldn't say I don't want people to know. It's more like the judgments that they make about it. Like at least from YouTube comment sections. I've seen comments where people are like, oh my gosh, are you kidnapped? Do you need help? So I don't like the assumptions that people make about us because we have like an age gap relationship. Once they see us together, they realize that we're really, really happy. So no, I'm not really ashamed to tell people that. I don't really think it's something that I should be ashamed of. I assume that you're not scared to try new things or scared of failure. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. This is really interesting. I think people assume just because I do lots of rock climbing and outdoorsy things that I'm not scared. I am terrified all the time. <laughs> Mountain biking scares me probably more than anything. If you guys watched my video where I went down that bike ramp, it took 20 minutes before I actually went down that hill. Peer pressure and Justin J into riding the bike. You got it, you got it. Go, 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 go. That looked good. That looked really good. Go for your dreams, kids. <laughs> but in the vlog, all you guys saw is, oh, Jess is so brave. She went down it. She wasn't scared at all, but I was definitely scared. <laughs> right when I went down, both my eyes cried a tear. <laughs> I assume your chronic pain is a little bit easier to manage or not affecting you as much. You've been around for a long time, obviously. On this channel, I used to talk a lot about chronic pain and how difficult that was for me and how depressed I was because of it. In the last few years, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've been so much happier than I used to be. I used to have a lot of videos that were frankly kind of depressing because that's where I was at at the time. I haven't left my house today. I haven't left my room today other than earlier just to make some food. <sighs> because I'm really, really frustrated because my pain's bad today. I'm just done, I'm just really done. But yeah, I had a doctor that I found who's helped me more than any doctor I've ever had before. And then I've also used some natural remedies that have really helped. It's not gone. I still struggle with chronic pain all the time, every single day, but it's at so much more manageable levels that like, it's nothing like what it used to be. I assume you love van life. I love van life for the experiences and the adventures it brings me. I don't just like living in a van. I feel like anybody that's just like, oh my gosh, living in a van is so much fun, they're lying to you. Not being able to pee whenever you want to, 
not being able to cook however you want to. Having something that's like a billion degrees during the day so you literally can't go in it. Like most of the time when I'm living in a van the entire day I'm out of the van and then just at night I sleep in it. And that can be exhausting when you're doing that for months at a time. I assume that it was difficult for you to convince people around you that it was okay for you to travel alone in a van. Yeah, actually, I remember specifically my mom gets really, really worried about it. I remember when she helped me drive to California, we got there, and when she kind of figured out like what I was doing, like that I was gonna be just parking on the streets and like living in my van, she kind of started to panic a little bit. I was like, Jessa, you can't just do that. Like, I can't be proud of a daughter that lives in her van. It was coming from a place of her like caring about me and wanting me to be safe, but I kind of had to tell her, like, I'm sorry if you're not okay with it, but this is what I'm doing. I assume you are more of a public education person rather than a private school education. Dang it, that's st stupid shooting range. So I think going to a private school, you know, through elementary school and through high school is really great, whatever. But I personally believe that it's better to go to a public college. Nothing against people that go to a religious college, but you're going to be around people that all view life in the same way you do, for the most part. The workplace isn't going to be one tiny set in stone group of people. But again, I'm not hating on anyone. You make your own decisions. You do you. I assume you hate Donald Trump's guts. He's not my favorite. And it's not even because of his political views. Like I don't always stand with one particular political party, but the thing that I can't stand about Trump is that he doesn't seem to recognize the value of words. And I'm someone that believes precision of language is really important and like making sure that what I say is coming across is how I want to say it. I'm not perfect at that, but I feel like he doesn't think through something before he says it. And that's a quality that drives me crazy in people. So just for that reason, yeah, I'm not really not really his biggest fan. You love when people send you things. Yes, my PO box is in the description. It is my favorite thing ever to get things from you guys. Even if people just send me letters, I freak out and then I keep them forever. Like I have a box of stuff that people have sent me and I never get rid of any of it. You are homophobic. Definitely not. One of my best friends is gay and I think he is the best human in the universe. Ooh, oh, yes! one of my favorite climbing partners. I assume you're bossy, but nice. I wouldn't really say I'm bossy, but I don't know, maybe other people would say I'm bossy. Sometimes I'm a trip guide, and sometimes I need to tell people what to do. Like if they're standing next to the side of a cliff and taking selfies, I'm gonna be like, hey, stop, you're gonna die. But I don't really think that's bossiness, I think it's assertiveness. I assume you're the same off camera as you are on. Hannah, what would you say? I would say she's a little braver on camera, she'll do more things. Everything's the same, it's just a little bit but she's already dramatic. She just puts a little more of an edge on it. A little flair. So she is exactly like this I all the time. And it drives her crazy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> all right, guys, that is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do any more of these videos. Thank you to all of you who entered your questions. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.